This is Oscar. <laughs> From the comfort of her living room. So I was sitting right here watching TV when I heard like this like on the window. Grace Hall began feeling quite uncomfortable due to a startling tapping sound coming from outside her apartment on November 20th. So at that point I was on alert. Fast forward a couple weeks and Hall says she received concerning news from a neighbor she had never met before. She told me that she had footage of a man coming around looking into my building with his pants down. Right here behind this museum district apartment building on Hanover Avenue, Hall says an unknown man has been caught on camera lurking in the alleys, peeking through windows and exposing himself. The incidents are documented on at least three separate occasions since one resident installed a security camera on Thanksgiving. It's been really hard, honestly. Uh, I haven't been getting much sleep. Thursday, December 1st, Hall says she escalated her concerns by filing a report with the Richmond Police Department. The very next night, on December 2nd, Hall says again she saw the man out back through footage in real time and immediately called 911. I told them there's somebody that is um, that I've seen on camera outside of my building. I don't think he's there any longer, but I want someone to come out and check and nobody came out. So she called again about an hour later and still she says officers did not respond. I want them to patrol our area a little bit better. I think the biggest thing though is I want to know that if I call 911 someone will come out. We have footage of him with his pants fully down. Now Hall shares these stories on TikTok, Reddit, Facebook, the news and beyond in an effort to help protect her neighbors. So my message is to stay alert, stay on guard and look out for each each other. Go ahead and knock on your neighbor's door, get to know them, exchange numbers because you never know when you might need to reach out to them. And Richmond police tell me that this case has now been assigned to major crimes and is being fully investigated, but they did not provide further details about that investigation. Now, when we asked RPD why officers did not respond to Hall's two calls for service that night, a spokesperson says that they're still looking into it. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.